Uh, this is unexpected. I just took the, uh, I guess it's the thermostat housing off the back of the head, right above the training. It's got a water temperature sensor in there, and I was kind of surprised to see there's a thermostat in here. Oh, oh okay. Nissan. I think these are date stamped, too. Probably the original one. I'm surprised because there is a thermostat in the water pump housing, I thought. Yeah, you can see it in there. So there's two thermostats. Interesting. Yeah, this has got to be like original. Look at the black rubber just coming off of my hand on this thermostat. Interesting. And you can see there's some use coming. It looks like this gasket was starting to fail. After 160,000 miles or something, because uh, it's a little bit of blue coolant poking through. So there's three gaskets on this thing. I think that's bad. At least it didn't leak though. Okay. Okay, here's the first step of uh, stripping this timer cover off. I just blew out uh, these three, four, 13 millimeter head, uh, it's like 10 millimeter bolts. I gotta take out the crank pulley, that's a 19 millimeter head, huge, like 14 millimeter bolt. Took that out with the uh, Ryobi. So next thing I'm going to take out this adjuster or just drain the oil. I gotta take out this other sensor. This one I already stole. I think I might take this inspection cover off first and see what's going on. I just whipped off the uh, exhaust manifold. Just get it out of the way and put it on the stand. So let's get this thing apart and see what's making noises. So that's a T50 for the uh, Just a bolt, get that thing out of the way. Oh, there's no one of those big ones under there. Uh, 13. Okay, now it's got to take out the crank. Okay, I got the hormone balancer off. Just took off this sensor. Okay. Take out the section cover. Okay, I'm not going to take out the big cover yet, just in case. Maybe I don't need to. Looks like all the bolts. Price point 
Okay, looks like a pipe one right here. Maybe. Maybe I'll just uh, Yep. Move it off. Oh well, of course. Point on the other side, I would think. Uh, that was a little lug down here. Looks like it's doing nothing. Stuck on that dial. There you go, there's one of the chains, or the chain. Oh, wow. It's like a million O-rings, three O-rings in there. Well, it didn't leak, so the inspection cover tells me nothing. It doesn't tell me why there's noise. So we're gonna have to take off the big cover. Oh boy. So let's see, where should we start? So we got off all the 13 millimeter headed bolts. Here are all the eights. Right in there. Okay, there's only one. Let's go up to the, to the 12. Actually, up to the 10. Of a 10. Oh no, I stripped that one earlier. Shit. I had the wrong size on there. No. Okay. Let's go with six point. Six point. Okay, six point in. So now he's like what sixteen millimeters or something. That's weird size those these on these nowadays. I'm used to the L, the Z, the VG, the K. Uh oh. I need my big tools. Uh, 16, I'm gonna go to 16 and a half inch drive. Some beefy bolts. So the reason why there's some, uh, there's like 12 millimeter diameter, 16 millimeter heads. The reason these bolts are so big on the front is I finally realized there's only one motor mount on the whole engine and it's actually bolted to the timing cover. So the timing cover is a structural block, piece of the block, which is pretty interesting. Because uh, there's only two training mounts and one engine mount and nothing on the block. There's no engine mount on the block. It's on the timing cover. So this thing is gonna be fun to get off. <coughs> Beefy. Check all the bolts are out. A lot of glue, I think. Oh, that was a pry point. I don't see any good pry points. There's a block of wood when you get. off. Good sound. I can hear the sound. I was like, oh, that's interesting. Oh, it's a filter. What the hell is that in there? What's in those little holes? Interesting. 
Okay, this would have been fun to get off in the compartment, but I'm sure it's still. Avoid putting something in the gap and prying it apart just in case. I don't want to damage the ceiling surface. It's off. There she goes. One more dowel, some more over here. Another one of those gaps. There she's off. Ooh. A bit of silicone. And there's also. An o ring right there. One o ring to glue on. Okay, why was this thing making all kinds of noises? So there's actually uh, only two chains. Something's got to be broken here that's making all kinds of ruckus. Tensioner looks good. I was suspecting something in here was broken. The tension was going out farther than it needed to compensate. But, man, that chain is tight. Got a nice blob of silicon on here. Ugh. So the guide, which is actually plastic, usually these are metal with plastic. This is original. Actually looks really good. The only thing, it must be this. It's like a spring-loaded chain down here. I guess these two little eight millimeters. Made all kinds of ruckus until it warmed up. Yeah, I'm guessing it was this lower chain. And it's pretty much this top chain. What broke on the VQ35DE on my wife's 04 Quest was a piece of plastic broke off here somewhere. And this was steel and this was plastic. And what happened is it allowed the tensioner, which was higher up. Uh, it was loose and it was rattling when it was cold, but was it warmed up? This hydraulic adjuster would come out further, tighten up, take out the noise, so it drove perfect. The system blowing it cold. That's kind of what this engine was doing. It was noisy or cold, it's like clatter, 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 valve clatter. Once it warms up, it was pretty much quiet. Just like that when I bought it. So I'm thinking it's this lower chain. A lot of slop in there. I don't know if it's supposed to be that sloppy. So I assume this is the oil pump. I've never seen a Nissan chain driven oil pump before, but I know this is the new design. There's definitely a lot of slop in there. And that's just a spring. There's no oil pressure pushing behind it, so probably redesigned on the near ones. So I bought a timing chain kit. I don't even know if it came with the. I never opened it. Yeah, this is pretty loose. So. I'm assuming that's what it was. Uh, well, there's that O-ring. That's probably the feed from the filters right there. Switches right there, all pressure. Yeah. Let's see if this has ever been in, taken apart before. It's hard to tell. It doesn't look like it. it usually tells. But, uh... Got one, two, there's only two dowels to align it. Not sure what that is. There's silicone. That's weird. They put silicone around that bolt. And this one to make sure. That's interesting. Oh well. Wow. So I was expecting more carnage for all the rattle. But Kind of weird design. Ooh. Got a lot of 
pressure on there. Guys look good. There's no wear and tear. Man, 189. I think it's close to 190,000 miles on this thing. I think it's all original. So I just took the oil pump tensioner off. Yeah, it's just spring loaded. There's a little hole where you can lock it. And, uh, man, there's a lot of slob in that chain. So, pretty sure that's what the noise was. So, for this new engine, won't do that for a while. It's a 2016 with 50,000 miles. I bought this car with 160, so. And I think that's a date stamp on this picture. It says 09. 414, it is a 14. I wonder if it's, I'll have to look at the production date. I wonder if that's a date date. If it is, then that would mean that's the original tensioner, probably.